what is going on guys my name is dustin welcome back to the channel i feel like i just uploaded a video like two days ago because i did uh at the end of the month and these came a day late i ordered these on i want to say tuesday yeah um so i'm really late to these releases that i'm going to be unboxing for you guys uh these came out about four months ago and i've been wanting them and I've been putting it off. And for a while, um, some websites had one or the other in stock, but not both. And I wanted them both at the same time. And then I was going to order them directly from Second Sight. But then shipping from Australia is like $45. So it would have cost a ton of money to have these shipped in. Uh, but thank God Orbit DVD had both in stock. And I snagged them because they were running low on the quantity for both. And I'm super happy I did. They came today. And first of all, Orbit DVD packaging, incredible. Their packaging is so good, um, which I would hope so because these are kind of expensive releases. These are about $50 a piece. So uh, we have from Second Sight, Green Room on 4K and Possessor on 4K. I have not seen either of these, but I've heard amazing things about both of them, and I'm so excited to get into it. Now, I'm no stranger to Second Sight. I actually have a second sight release right here. So from what I gather, this is going to be pretty similar. Uh, I do have Dawn of the Dead from Second Sight. Um, I have not watched this yet, but I will get to it eventually. But it comes in this nice little case. And these come with some extra goodies. So I'm really excited to get into it. We're going to go ahead and start with Green Room. Uh, I do know that this is an A24 film, which is pretty cool. I had no idea. Um until I was like doing some research. Now, I don't know what all these come with. I have not watched any like sort of unboxings or anything like that because I've been wanting them and I wanted to be like a, you know, like a first time thing with you guys. But uh, this this artwork is fantastic. I, I love it. Um, really great special features. Uh, I will go ahead and just show you here. These are region free because they are 4K. Um, I'm using my phone again, so it's really weird. There's the special features. Pause it. You know, see what you see what you like. Um, see what you like. I'm sorry. If I can give you advice, if you have a migraine and you've never taken Excedrin Extra Strength before because it has caffeine in it, don't do it at 10:30 at night. I literally had to leave leave work early today because I was like falling asleep, uh, which is pretty crazy. But little J card just kind of slips on the bottom. I'm probably gonna keep the J card on there because it. I don't know, like they're not glued on. Normally, J cards annoy me. That one really doesn't. But there you have the back, the front, and then you can see the contents on the side. So if we open this up, it looks like we have some cards, a booklet, and then the actual movies itself. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at these cards. I'm going to pop this little little strip off strip of paper holding them on there um some people probably like to keep those on there it doesn't matter to me either way but there we go same artwork is on the front there we go i have no idea what this movie's about but i would assume a band and there seems to be blood so um yeah it, it has to be pretty cool very green sticking with the theme so uh that that's really cool uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. Second sight, like I said, I'm, I'm not... This is only, like, the, the third thing I've ever gotten from them. So, well, these two items. And then a really nice booklet with some artwork there. And on the back. And then this is, like, a, this is a pretty extensive booklet. I would assume it has probably a lot about the making of the film and kind of a lot of behind-the-scenes things. So that's actually really cool. It's a really thick book. That's nice that they include something like that. And then here we have the actual movies. I kind of wish these were in a normal case. That's like the only one thing that I don't like. But you get the 4K and the Blu-ray. Nothing too exciting. So a pretty nice release. Uh, I mean, some people may look at this and be like, it doesn't seem like it's worth the $50 price tag. Um, but I can honestly tell you that the packaging is incredible. And the artwork is is great if that's something you're into. And again, it's it's region free, so really cool. It's gonna look great on a shelf, I think. So there's that one. And then next up here we have Possessor, Brandon Cronenberg, David Cronenberg's son. 
Uh, I do know a little bit more about this movie. I've just never seen it. Uh, apparently it's like a crazy sci-fi body horror and the concept is fantastic. Um, I'm just, I'm really excited to get into this. I'm probably going to watch this one first. And yeah, I guess he followed in his father's footsteps with this one. So super, super cool. This artwork is absolutely insane. Uh, I hear a lot of really good things about this movie. I hear more about this movie than I do with Green Room. Oh, uh, there are your special features. You can see. And this is going to come with like the same stuff. So if you were expecting anything different, um, I'm sorry, but the artwork on the front looks great. The spine and the back. This one definitely has like a little more color to it. Like this has a lot of green, but like this one kind of has like the artwork continues around the spine, whereas like this one doesn't. It's just a really dark green like it almost looks black it's, it's just a really dark green um so this one i feel like has a little bit more detail if that's something you're into but there we go again and then the contents on the inside we'll go ahead and take a look at the art cards pretty similar it's probably going to have a lot of like repeat artwork you're going to see which is fine but there you go possessor see that just looks so creepy Possessor again. There's that. This one. And then we have this one here. Sorry if you hear my baby. He is uh, he's very tired and needs to nap. Kind of like me. I am also very tired. So if I seem a little out of it, that's what it is. It's the exhaustion from that medicine. But here we go. Same creepy lady on the front. Pretty cool artwork on the back. And again, this is just a really extensive booklet, you know, with like behind the scenes photos. And I would imagine there's probably like stuff in here, you know, Brandon talking about the film. And then here's the little case. Again, I, I wish this was just like a, a standard case with like a slipcover. I just think it would be so much cooler. But again, I'm just not like the biggest fan of these things that look like this, but I mean, it is what it is. And then here we go. We got the 4K and the Blu-ray. So that is pretty much it. Again, they're pretty much identical. Um, I believe they actually like released at the same time too, which is pretty funny. And I've had my eye on them for a while and I had some extra money. So I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna treat myself. So I did. And uh, I'm really excited. I cannot wait to watch these. I feel like my, my wife would actually probably watch these too. Um, she's pretty, I don't want to say picky when it comes to movies, but um, I definitely, she's definitely not into the same type of movies I am. Uh, but I feel like she would find something like this to be a pretty interesting concept. But guys, there you go. Green Room and Possessor from Second Sight Films. Um, I mean, if you've ever you know, thought about ordering from Second Sight or getting any of their box sets, definitely do so. Because like I said, I have the Dawn of the Dead box set. I know they did like a big Dawn of the Dead one, which is like crazy expensive to buy. But yeah, Second Sight puts out some really, really high quality stuff. So definitely, definitely check them out. Cannot wait to get into these because I heard, I heard they look good. So yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are very new to the channel. As always, I'll see you later in another video. Bye-bye.